Okay, we're here at my favorite fishing hole or whatever. Um, gonna try to get them with the little four weight fly rod. We got the big orange egg, the dead egg, a couple of split shots, and a big Phil Rolly bobber. Uh, water's clear. I don't know. It's probably putting half visibility. Um, should be a good day, nice and sunny or whatever. So yeah, we'll start fishing and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Look at this guy. Oh wow, you just threw it in. Yeah. He's just, he's like as small as they get here. Oh yeah, that thing's tiny. But it's in his mouth. We're catching bait right now. Basically. There we go. He's away. So this spot's a little different. Fast water with the slow water right beside the log. So basically, you have to drift right where the bubbles go. Right over there. So. I don't know if they heard you speak up a bit. The trick is just getting it in the perfect spot, just so it drifts down and the fish sit right at the uh, head of the pool. Makes sense, especially the hungry ones. So. The trick is it's like not getting the snag and starting right there. Then you do a stack mend, so you keep on putting line out until you see the bobber go under, and then you set the hook. Back men, back. And actually, the closer you get it to that soft water, the more... That's fish. Oh? more bites you'll get. Decent. Hey, it's better than your other ones. Yeah. Single fly this time. I can probably show them to the camera this time. Wet your hand before grabbing the fish. And always just grab them nice and soft. Just like that. Right in the mouth. Fly comes out nice and easy. Let's do a little close up. Nice. That's beautiful. Oh, just release them. You actually want to hold them upstream. And you went right in between my legs and left. That's <laughs> a good one. It's a good one for this area. Now I'll let Sarah fish this spot. No, you keep going. Are you sure? Yeah. I picked him up three quarters of the way down there. That's pretty yeah. uncommon for this spot. Normally you get them within the first little bit. Fish. Next drift. Oh my god! <laughs> right in the mouth again. Try to get them in the water as much as I possibly can. Again, wet your hands and the hook. You just pop right out. There's the fish. The softer you hold them, the calmer they are. Point them upstream, and there he goes. Another awesome. one, two for two. <laughs> a little bit bigger than your bait you were catching back there. Yeah, exactly. The fish move for some. The fish move for some reason, like up and down the river, and really it depends, like. Like normally that rock spot is the go-to mm -hmm. compared to the, the that pond is kind of like my second favorite spot. And this is third, but maybe because the lower water temps and the faster water, they feel more secluded. I'm not too sure to be honest. But yeah, let's see if we can get another. A good drift in there.
This a fish? It's fish. This a fish to come out for 30 seconds and just grab it. That's what I was just about to say there. Wait, no, calm down a bit. Flies right in his mouth. Comes out nice and easy. Wet him for a second. Hold him up to the camera. Point him upstream. And there he goes, all on his own. And he swims down that way, back to his home. That's what I was saying. You just gotta, how the logs move sideways and all the way around and then up that way. Mm -hmm. I de oh, look at that. I, <laughs> I didn't even pass that I had one. So they are liking this pink egg, I guess, today. Yeah. Fish, that's a big one. Woo. That could be the biggest one of the, of the day. Yeah, today, yeah. Definitely. About 10 inches, not the biggest I've ever got on this river, but biggest of the day for sure. The single leg presentation got it done. It's almost two hands long. Point it upstream and send her away. If you look right there, Ron, there he is. Yeah. I'm not sure if the camera will get that, but that was a decent one. Biggest of the day. Yeah. Enough to set my bobber off, too. So. <laughs> That wasn't too bad. It's worth hitting the spot again then. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing you wanted to hit it real quick. Sarah, do you want to hit this real quick or you're probably done? Oh, she's done. Definitely done. <laughs> Good fish. Barely hooked. There he goes. That's the way we do it. They're lighting it up now. You saw the bobber? Like, yeah, I did. It's the third one. This one is different. This one looks like a hybrid. Oh no, maybe maybe it's a rainbow. It almost looked a little orange there. Yeah, the belly looks orange. Could be a hybrid uh, rainbow trout and uh, yeah, the belly is orange. Could be a brook trout, rainbow trout. Mm -hmm. The fins do have a little white leading edge, so could totally be possible. There he goes. <laughs> That's a cool little hybrid. Never caught one of those here either. He still had par marks like a regular rainbow trout, but yeah, he didn't have all the colors. 